Hey guys, Fauna Master Link here. Gonna be playing some My Time at Portia. I should probably plug in my phone, at least for a bit. Hold on. Uh. Really, I should have charged my phone earlier, because I think I'm going to play this in full screen, so yeah. I've at least have that plugged in a bit. I'll occasionally look at it. I don't want... You know, really, uh, this is one I wish I had two monitors, honestly. But we're not we're not quite at that setup yet. But yeah, no, I'm I'm fucking about with the settings right now. Sound is way too high. At least for my headset. Like my headset, I have it down to the lowest it can go, but it's still a little bit too loud for my ears. I probably have the voiceover a bit up. I mean, I didn't even know this game had voice acting. Um, hell, now that I think about it, I should probably be playing this with a controller, but we'll just do PC for now, whatever. I'm sure it'll tell us some of this shit, too, so. Let's, uh, minimap rotate? I don't even know what that is, but okay. Show hat. Uh, I don't know what that's about. But yeah, let's go ahead and start this game here. Yeah, my time at Portia. Uh, I don't know why there's kind of a Christmas thing going on here. Because it's fall, not winter, but whatever. Whatever. Total Tools is where Mars makes his living. You can upgrade important items and purchase weapons and tools from there. Well, that's cool. Also, uh, these little chickens in the corner, lower right-hand corner, are freaking adorable. Just saying. I need to express that to the audience. So yeah, um, uh, basically this is a stream just to prove Dragon wrong and in, in saying that this game's probably similar to Stardew Valley, he just don't want to admit it. Even though he talks shit about Stardew Valley all the fucking time. You're gonna select different character styles, I guess. Uh, pretty sure we want to, yeah, well, we'll be a male, that's fine, whatever. Wait, what was this thing about, voice? I think I'll go talk with the research center first. I think I'll go talk with the research center. I think I'll go talk with the research center first. They might think of something. Uh Not really a fan of I think I'll go talk with the research center first. They might think of something. I I guess that's voice 2 is probably the least cringe voice. Uh Yeah, they're they're not the best voice actors by any means, but you know what? Can you expect for an indie game like this? So um See what did I wanna? I guess just call him FML. Sure. Apparently you can randomize his appearance and shit. I don't want to do that though. Hairstyle. Uh, yeah, that hairstyle fucking sucks. Oh, oh, you can adjust the hair length. That's kind of cool, huh? I'm kind of a fan of that one. Can I? Oh, that's that's for a girl. <laughs> My bad. Eh, that one's not bad. That one's actually kind of decent. I might, I might actually go with that, but we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Some of them are just dumb. Um, you know, I, I think I will go with that. Make, make the hair longer, though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that'll do. Color of the hair, have it be brown like mine, yeah. Hair highlight, uh. Yeah, that works. Sure. It's not like it really matters. Actually, you know what? Maybe make it a little. Oh, yeah, that's that's probably more realistic to my hair. Okay. Like, my, my, my hair isn't like a pure brown, it's kind of like a. I don't know what you'd call it. Like it has a bit of bit of grayness in it, I guess, or blackness, I don't know. Whatever. Let's go to face type. I 
And some of these look goofy as fuck. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I'll be honest, I'm not a huge fan of the facial features of this game. Like, they, they look kind of weird to me. I, I guess that one looks that one looks decent. Yeah, let, let's, let's go with that one. Let's see, I am pasty white, so I want to make me the whitest kid ever. That, that's probably fine. Upper face. Um, brow position. I actually don't like how thick my eyebrows are. Can I? Yeah. Oh my god, you can have them so fucking thick, dude. That's ridiculous. Um, about about there is probably fine. Eye size. Eh. Oh my god, you can make him look fucking creepy. I guess that's how you get an Asian person. Pretty much. Or something. Um... I'm probably fine with that eyes. With those eyes, actually. Like, because in, in real life, if you ever actually, like, looked at a picture of me, it, it kind of looks like my eyes are like that. Like, always, like, half-closed. It's kind of a pain in the ass thing for me to deal with, personally. Eye height. Uh, that's, that's that's probably fine. Eye spaced. Maybe just a little bit closer. Yeah, that's probably fine. Eye color. It literally doesn't even matter. Who's even going to look at that? Lower face. Nose position. Eh... Maybe just a little bit. Yeah, that's probably good. No size. It looks a little bit big, but... Oh, that was the mouth size. My bad. Hit the wrong hit the, hit the wrong scale. That's a huge-ass nose. Have it a little little less. It's Yeah, that's, that's fine. Mouth size. <laughs> oh, my God. I can, I can make myself have, like, a big-ass mouth. Well, let's just make it slightly bigger, I guess. Mouth height. Eh, that's probably fine. Mouth shape. Oh, that's that's just that's just creepy. I don't know. That kind of looks like me. <laughs> I tend to I tend to have kind of a scowl on me like that. Uh. Yeah. Let's just have it at kind of a neutral. Like eh, eh. Chin size. Well, I mean, since I lost weight, I guess I should have it maybe slightly under, slightly under average. That's probably good. Chin, chin width. Oh, I see. Well, we'll just have that as average. I'm not concerned about chin width, whatever. Chin length. Oh, like give me a cleft chin. <laughs> I almost want to keep that, but no, that'd be that'd be ridiculous. Uh, maybe just maybe just slightly exteriorize there. That's probably yeah, that's probably good. Lip color, that's fine. I'm not, you know, I'm not doing any of that. Okay, since I actually have facial hair, um, let's no, don't. That's literally the only thing we can have. Is there a way I can, like, shave that off, or... Because, like, I do not have that... St I don't have a chin strap. Like, I haven't had that since I worked at Walmart, like, six years ago. Damn it. What the hell is this shit, too? Tattoos or some shit? Oh, yeah, that, yeah, that looks sexy as fuck, doesn't it? Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna go with any of that. I don't know. I don't think I'm liking that beard that much. Also, why is there, like, uh, that almost looks like a Hitler stash. Like, uh, no shit, it, it, it literally looks like a Hitler stash. Why the fuck is that in the game? Come on now, game. That's ridiculous. I don't know, I don't really like any of these. Like, can they? Can I just have, like, a goatee? I don't really want to have a beard here. Uh, I don't want to be baby-faced either, though. Uh, I <laughs> that's, that's actually kind of amusing. Have my mustache super fucking long. 
Uh, I guess I'll just be baby faced. Fuck it. Fuck it. I guess I guess that's basically everything then, isn't it? Yeah. All right, confirm. I can't use this name. Why? Why not? What the fuck? I don't know why I can't use it. Piece of shit. What about Ryan? Okay. Apparently, f FML is 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 uh word you can't use because the game says so. Fuck off, game. Choose your birthday. Uh. Does this go by month two, month three, month four? Okay, so each each month represents like spring, summer, fall, winter. I gotcha. Well, for me, since my birthday is May thirteenth, uh, yeah, I guess my birthday's on fishing day. Sure, why not? Then again, do I really want to have my birthday on the same day as a day? Well, we'll just say the fourteenth. We'll say the fourteenth. Fuck it. Why not? A friend of mine's birthday is actually on May 14th, so, you know. Bird's Nest, Lucky Chess, and Lucky Sex are open by right-clicking in your inventory. Random items can be found in them. Neat. Neato. Ugh. <sighs> So yeah, I sort of didn't want to play Final Fantasy VIII tonight anyway, you know, just, you know, tired, and I still think I have to do some, like, card quest bullshit in that game anyway, so. I thought, eh, let's try this Portia game, I guess. This will probably just be a one-off, I'll be honest. Like, if I really wanted to play a Harvest Moon-like game, I'd just play Harvest Moon, you know. Whoa, that looks beautiful. Something like that. You get someone like you once in a while. Always seeking that adventure. Good to be young. Well, good luck to you. Thanks. Okay. Hooray, we're we're here, I get I guess. Yeah, I bought this game uh, earlier this year sometime. I don't quite remember when. Presley, how do you do? Ah, good to see you again. Hope you had a pleasant journey from Barnarok, right? That's quite far. Is it? Yeah. Anyway, I'm here to show you to your workshop, so if you would please follow me, it's pretty close. I wonder what it's like. I didn't get to know my pa too well. No one's been working there since your pa left Porsche so many years ago. He was a good friend. Okay, sir. They do call the town Porsche then. Yeah. Okay. Good to know. Alright, so shift, WASD, jump is space, auto run is, is that. Hey, don't wander too far. I'm not trying to. And dash. Stamina bar. That totally looks like it's taken from Breath of the Wild, doesn't it? Can already kind of tell. Eh. Movement's a little bit janky, but again, it's kind of understandable. And here we are. Your workshop. This place sure has seen some wear and tear. What do you think? Looks homely. Now then. Here's a letter from your father. He asked me to present it to you when you've seen this house. Was my dad dead or something? Like, what, what's up with this? Ryan, when you read this letter, I will already be on the other side of the world. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry that I'm not the father you wanted me to be. This is also sudden, so I didn't have much time to, to tell you or figure out how to take care of you. And I thought about this workshop. It might not look like now. Like, pfft, might not look like much now, but it will brace you from the wind and cover you from the rain. I left my workshop handbook that details how I created things in my workshop. The rest is up to you. Do your best and live a wonderful life. Uh, you always be my pride and joy, Pa. Okay. Here's the workshop handbook of your Pa's. Take your time. Come to the Porsche Commerce Guild tomorrow. 
It's located around Peach Plaza. Can't miss it. As much as I'd like to give you a builder license right away, you need to prove your worth through a couple of tests. Bitch, I'm the best there ever was. You know, if only this guy knew what my construction level was in RS. Anyway, Motherfucker. I'll leave you be. Get some rest. Yeah, whatever. Honestly, thanks for your help. I got an achievement just by playing 10 minutes. What is wrong with these games and giving you achievements like for nothing? Literally nothing. No work at all and you get an achievement. This what the fuck? So worn. I need to fix it or I won't be getting a good night's sleep. I was just, okay, yeah. We got to fix the house up. Okay, that's kind of neat. Um How do I fix it? Use 20 wood. Oh, okay, I need tw I need 20 wood. Okay. Home panel. Um, I'm not even sure what that means. Furniture. You can d gain attribute bonuses by furnishing your home. Okay. And the helper log, which is blank. Okay. I guess first things first, you know, kind of like in Minecraft and Terraria, we got to get some wood from trees, right? Are we going to punch them like in Minecraft? Or? The glowing object objects are most likely to be collectible resources with E. Press escape to seek help. Mission target is marked with a M star. It is marked with a star on the world map. I hit that using M. Okay. Okay, so I, yeah, Peach Plaza, and then there's the Commerce Guild. Cool, cool. Okay. Where am I? Okay, I, I'm right here. Okay. I gotcha. Yeah, it already reminded me of Harvest Moon and, uh... Ah, I guess to a certain extent Animal Crossing also. Hey, there's a for sale sign. Oh, that's... Okay, that's land. Okay, that's land. Okay, cool. I can buy land. Practice sword... Uh, and practice sword, spiked practice practice sword. Some axes and shit. Okay, so far this is reminding me a bit more of a uh, um uh Animal Crossing than Harvest Moon, I guess, just because it I don't know, it, it's like it seems like it's one of those do whatever the fuck you want to kind of kind of want games. Like there's nothing here about farming, so Let's go ahead and get this. Hello, new subscriber. This is the Porsche Times. We are sponsored by the city government and the local commerce guild. Branch 2, bringing you the latest news in our city for free. We are a monthly publication, so sp papers will be sent out on the first day of each month. If you have any questions or concerns, don't hesitate to visit our office on Main Street. Okay. Cool. Neat. The hell is that thing? I, I, I don't... Oh, okay, that was stone. I was like, what the hell did I grab? Couldn't even tell. Can I not grab any more? I guess I can only grab it if it's, uh... In a certain, you know, shit on the ground. What, what What's this shit? Herbs? Okay. Well, I guess the proper thing to do would be to try to get some wood, though, right? I gotta repair my home, right? Um, or may maybe I just need to meet with Presley and get a fucking axe or some shit. Wait, I... I was about to say, what does kicking the tree do? 